Nick with uh, Hawaiian Church Survival. So I know it's not survival, but it is being prepared and learning how to do something you haven't done before. Um, so I'm in the military and um, my uniforms get faded after a while and instead of buying a, another set, which can be quite expensive, I've learned over the years how to dye uh, my uniforms to um, their original color. So we're going to try and uh, make it between um, fogged up lenses. We, uh, we're, we're now in Florida and it is super humid out here and it's fogging up the lens on my camera. So there's going to be a lot of edits from here on out. So um, just so you know what I'm doing, I'm taking uh, an older uniform uh, that's supposed to be a nice dark blue and it's actually a nice light blue um, and we're going to dye it to the original dark blue. For the Coast Guard ODUs, um, for their original color, uh, I found this formula from a friend of mine who's no longer in the Coast Guard, but um, give him a little shout out. His name's uh, Arai. Um, he gave me this probably seven or eight years ago and it's worked like a charm ever since. So what you do is you purchase um, dye and I am going to use name brand I'm not sponsored but um, navy blue right R-I-T navy blue and black uh, same company and what you do is you pour half a bottle of each into your tub and that'll get us started so I've already started this process, so it's kind of a hindsight, um, and I apologize, but the gist is here. Um, what you need is one cup of salt, non-iodine, uh, so not table salt, but like regular salt. Cheap is fine, so one cup, four ounces or half a bottle of each, your navy blue and your black, and you want to add all of that to six gallons of um, 140 um, temperature water. You want nice hot water. So dissolve your salt in a gallon of hot water and then mix all of it together. Get it nice and uh, uh, mixed. And then you add it to a bucket that can hold more than six gallons. Um, I like dyeing stuff, so I threw in an old t-shirt, some face mask because we're still in pandemic conditions, and uh, I've got an old rucksack from the army that was brown, uh, uh, or desert cami. Um, I'm dyeing that blue so I can wear it with my uniform. Uh, an old camelback. Uh, there you go. So basically, submerge your uniform. Now, as you can see, this one is super faded, and you can really tell by the um, size straps. Those used to be black, and when you're done with this, they will be dark blue. So, from there, you submerge. Stick, tongs, anything you want. And so if you can't remember everything, just read the back of the, the right die. Um, it has all of this on there. The only thing I'm giving you is the ratios for the actual die. So you need half black and half navy blue. But the directions for this process are all on the back of your, your die bottle. So basically, you submerge and you have to keep prodding and getting out the air bubbles for 30 minutes at least 30 minutes the longer you leave it the darker it gets um, I have found 30 minutes is perfect um, but 30 minutes is the charm but if you uh, if you go a little over believe me you're it's not gonna be that big of a deal um, and for items that are not cotton like a camelback or a rucksack you need to leave those in there for an hour at least um, to get some sort of a dye to them 
I actually left the rucksack in there the last time for overnight because I couldn't do anything with the water the last place I was uh, at until it was cool and I could take it and dispose of it. Um, so I left it in there for a day and it came out wonderful. So I'm probably going to do the same thing for the Camelback case and the rucksack. Um, but as far as the uniform, um, 30 minutes. 30 minutes, maybe 45. Um, and then we're going to move over to the second process. So after you have um, placed them in your solution for at least 30 minutes, you want to pull them out and let them drip into your container. Um, letting them drip as much as you can and then rinse. So the amount of dye that comes off from the rinsing isn't that big of a deal so you don't really have to worry about um, killing your grass or anything like that but still try to keep things clean. Um, once you have Let them rinse a bit. You will have a uniform that's super dark. Now it's going to be darker than you're used to because it's wet. Um, and if you look, my name tag um, is dyed as well. And now, the solution that you're using is a salt with your dye, and it will not stay on any name tag, rank insignia, and stuff like that. So that's the plus to this. Um, if you were to use vinegar, on the other hand, which don't use vinegar, that would penetrate your non, um, your synthetic fibers. So this solution is going to wash out of my name tag. And after you are done rinsing all the excess off of your drip dried or dripped clean uh, dyed uniforms, you take them and throw them in your washer and I'll show you that process next. So the next step in the process is giving it a thorough rinse and then wash. So they say you can wash it right away. I personally like to do a rinse cycle first. So wash the uniforms without any type of uh, detergent. So when carrying it around, make sure you're careful not to, because there's still a little bit of dye left in the clothes. You can hear the water. So I'm watching my wife's grimacing face from behind the camera. So, like I said, honestly, just a simple wash. I'm going to do a heavy duty, um, just water um, wash, and then the second wash, I'm going to do a normal wash with detergent. And then after that's done, uh, dry them like normal, and you'll have a perfectly uh, serviceable uniform. Check it out. So, different day, different shirt. Um, I made a mistake on the last, uh, or on my um, uniforms, and I'm gonna teach you what my mistake was. I fixed it, and I had to re-dye. So, if you do this, make sure that you do not wash your uniforms in hot water, especially that first wash, because you're using hot water to get the dye to penetrate the threads. When you use hot water, it releases the dye. So I pulled them out of the dryer and I'm like, these didn't take any dye. I quickly threw everything back together, um, a new, same clothes, 
uh, new batch of dye, so I used the other half of my bottles and washed them on cold water and they turned out great. But I'll, t I'll tell you again at the end of the, the video. So here is a uniform that I have been wearing um, for a few days. And if you look, the best place to see the fade on the top is around the pocket area. And you can see like this uh, tape is a little bit darker, this one's a little bit lighter, and then the uniform's actually a little bit darker than uh, the Coast Guard uh, emblem or uniform tag. Um, another place is the rank insignia. The, the insignia will fade before the uniform fades. Um, the sleeves in the mid arm, mine are rolled, so I'm not going to pull them because I hate rolling sleeves. But in the mid arm, they tend to fade a little bit faster than the rest, and of course, the back um, fades a little bit faster than uh, other places. Um, on the on the pants, you can see a lot of the fading on the um, sizing straps on the side. Um, these will start turning almost white, uh, light gray to white. They're supposed to be like dark black. Um, the other place is around the cargo pockets. You'll see that the cargo pocket starts fading um, in this area. Um, and the reason I'm showing you this is because this one, I this is my safe uniform. I didn't dye this one in case something went wrong with the other uniforms that I did dye. Um, so this is a good before, and that's going to be a good after. So. There's a good place where the, uh, the dying, uh, or I mean the uh, fading happens before anywhere else. And of course the, the knees and thigh area fade more than uh, the rest of the uniform. So there's your example of um, fading. And this one's not even bad. This one's actually still really serviceable. Um, for the, new, the old uniforms that I have applied the dye to, here are the pants, and as you can see, they are super dark, and this is actually the color that they were originally. Um, I've been told that if you hold these up to a new uniform, they are a slight purple, and uh, if you do a little less um, navy blue and a little more black, it's supposed to help counteract that purple. I personally can't see that purple tinge that people have talked about in the past. I just see the, the nice dark uh, blue that the uniforms used to be. And as you can see around the par pockets, um, it's a lot darker. It's, uh, again, a lot darker in this area. Um, the pull tabs are a lot darker. Um, they just absorb all the dye you can. And then let me grab a top. So here is the top. So again, did not have to remove any of the uh, name tags or uh, rank insignia because the fibers are full synthetic and they will not accept the dye unless you use a vinegar. So don't use vinegar when you're dyeing these uniforms. Use salt. But as you can see, nice dark name tags, um, dark pockets. The arms are really nice and dark. Basically, I'm extending the life of my uniforms by quite a few years. Um, so, so, to compare side by side, here is the undyed uniform and the dyed uniform. You can literally see how dark this one is compared to this one. So, I would call this a success. So what do you think? Um, like I said, it is a uh, 
a little bit being prepared, a little less survival, but a little more being prepared, um, which is all about the channel. Um, the formula again is and process is um, half a or four ounces of navy blue, four ounces of black, one cup of salt, six gallons of hot water. Um, hot water being out of your hot water tank, 140-ish degrees. Um, leave for uh, mix all together. Drop your uniforms two to three sets, no more. Um, leave them in there for 30 to one hour, 30 minutes to an hour. Remove, um, rinse, throw them or drip dry, and then throw them in a cold water wash after that you are prepared to wear them um, i hope you enjoy the video uh, i hope this gives uh, people some confidence to go and try it themselves um, i guess that's it so if you like the video please like it subscribe to the channel because i would appreciate that and it helps out and post all your comments down below and ring the bell for notifications in the future see you guys later